other words, Jesus' doctrine is quite clear. He did not come to somehow steal our countries, our world. He doesn't need this. He is the one who created all things. Except the Son of God was such a loud communicator that for 2,000 years so much violence was perpetrated by his followers but he's all totally innocent in the book that speaks in his name is totally innocent. His followers have been committing violence. So it's a problem of interpretation over 2,000 years. Now, or, that is one option. That's one option. The other option is, or, actually this is a very test in the Bible. Have you interrupted again? On his behalf. Did you interrupt again? And did you interrupt again, sir? Logic tells you they can't be his followers. Maybe people not did, did not listen to Jesus just like you. Interrupt and interrupt. And interrupt. What happened to those people who didn't agree with Jesus for 400 years? Which four did you? 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 Which four did you it's just giving them I do you do you know the facts? Four hundred and forty three treaties were entered into the indigenous population of North America by people carrying this ideology. What what was their ideology? What made them go there? So they went there to spread the Bible. Is that what you say? Is that why the explorers went all the way? Is that why prisoners were released and sent on ships? My dear friend, you don't listen when I speak. Please listen. This is speaker's corner. I don't enjoy when people don't listen. My dear friend. My dear friends. Prisoners. My dear friends. My dear friends. I'm actually, I'm actually getting there. My dear friends, prisoners released, sent on ships, provisions to do what? To spread Christianity. Is that what you're telling me? I've got basic history wrong. The Portuguese, the Spanish, why do they spend all these explorers all over the world? Because they wanted to find a new land. Have you read that book where they divide the world into two? Did you guys go there and kill everyone in that world? The point is, is they were in... Sorry, who, who divided? But the point remains... Who divided? They were going to spread the word. I asked a question already. It was more resources than they did then. Which is saying that it was an order to spread I'm not here. Unfortunately, I wouldn't think so. Now, let me let me ask you this, sir. Let me let me ask you. Let me ask you this, sir. If if Jesus, now my dear friend, if Jesus was accused of blasphemy for claiming to be God, which he readily received, what would happen to a pope? who claims himself to be God on the earth. What would happen to him? That wasn't the question. The question was... The question was... Can you grapple with the question, sir? Is there anyone else who can grapple with the simple question? If Jesus was killed for the sake of blasphemy, for claiming equality with God, what would happen to a pope who claims that he is God on earth. What could happen to him? Is he even consistent with what Jesus claimed about him? Thank you so much for the time. God's blessings. God's blessings. See you, God's blessings. I don't need it. Thank you. You absolutely need it without which you would not live alive today. What was your question, sir? The Bible consistent. Consistent with what? Bible says all of us are in big trouble and Jesus alone can help us. Jesus helped his friend. My friend, can you please tell us all how Jesus helped us? Did he die for you? Jesus died for him. Did he rise up? 
Why he died for him? Why he died for him? Yes. Because, let me repeat, without him, we are in big trouble. Why? Let's imagine, let's imagine. Even in front of two regular human beings, if you stand like that and speak, I'm getting a bit aggravated. Just imagine doing that exact same thing before the living God. What would the living God do to Are you religious man, sir? I want to know why Jesus died for his boy. God isn't a living person. Really? How many of you think God is not alive? That's a question. Why Jesus died for his boy? Because without Jesus dying, he realized that he and I would be in big trouble. Why? Why? Would you die for your child? Is this okay? Would you die for your son or daughter? Can you accept that? Would you? Can you accept right. if somebody kills, we should punish their so, so, father so or brother? So you let your, let your, your son, that? you let your child exactly. burn in the fire? Would you, accept would you allow that or would you if, take If Jesus for? died for his you sin, die for your child. do you accept with the concept of if somebody That's does a crime, you should punish somebody else? Yeah. Okay. The question is, no, no, no. That's what you said. Jesus died for his crime. So if somebody is doing a crime in our society, should we punish somebody else? That's, that's the third time you're asking the same question. It's not true. So, just imagine this. The question is, is it right for Jesus to die for his sin and my sin? That's the question. The answer is this. If someone, if some of you are parents, if you have children, the children have gone into trouble. They are, let's say, on drugs or whatever, and the authorities are against them. Would a parent want to help them in some way possible at all? Would a parent want to, would a loving parent want to help them at all? Would a loving parent want to help them? Of course, yes. yes. You must be that way. Unfortunately, my dear friend, if your ideas about God, God well, wait, doesn't week. tell you God is a loving father, you really need to give up, Can I do another give interview? up your straight yeah, ideas. Yeah, yeah. Because yes, yes. the Bible is consistent. Jesus died for his sin, what was forgiven?